This year marks South Korea and Canada's 60th anniversary of establishment of diplomatic relations. The anniversary coincides with the recent upgrade to the bilateral relationship between the nations, as well as the launching of respective Indo-Pacific strategies. Our Choi min reports. 2023 is set to be a very exciting and promising year for South Korea and Canada relations. This year marks the 60th anniversary of diplomatic ties between the two countries. 60 years is a significant milestone, and we have much to be proud of. In reality, our relationship is even older. Over the past few decades, South Korea and Canada have formed bonds as like-minded allies through the promotion of peace and security on the Korean Peninsula. Canada stood side by side with South Korea during the Korean War. The country dispatched more than 26,000 soldiers and endured sizable casualties. So South Korea is very grateful for that, for that act of bravery and, and friendship. That, I think, is, is the reason why both countries upgraded the, the bilateral relations to a comprehensive and strategic partnership uh, in last year. In September 2022, President Yoon suk yeol and Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau upgraded the bilateral relationship to a comprehensive strategic partnership. It focused on advancing five shared priorities in the areas of values, security, prosperity, sustainability, and beyond. These are shared challenges that can only be addressed when countries work together. As like-minded countries, Korea and Canada are optimal partners in tackling these common challenges. The two countries have also developed stable trade relations for over half a century. Today, South Korea is Canada's seventh largest trading partner. Trade between the two countries was boosted by the Korea-Canada Free Trade Agreement, which came into force in 2015. Last year, both countries respectively unveiled Indo-Pacific strategies. Both strategies provide a roadmap for stepping up proactive engagement beyond their own countries. They also provide blueprints for strengthening partnerships to uphold rule-based order in the Indo-Pacific. On Thursday, South Korea's President Yoon suk yeol exchanged congratulatory messages with Canada's Governor General, Mary Simon. And Yoon expressed confidence in further developing the country's comprehensive strategic partnership. Simon stressed that 2023 will be very important for South Korea and Canada for achieving common goals. The messages were delivered on their behalf at the anniversary reception hosted by the Embassy of Canada to South Korea, attended by South Korea's Foreign Minister Park Jin. Like the tagline for the 60th anniversary, Stronger Together, the event showcased South Korea and Canada's strong commitment to moving forward together into the future. Choi Min-jung, Arirang News.